Aloha friends, it's Robert with Blue Planet. Thanks for joining me for today's video, which is all about our new alien wing design. I'm gonna go over all the features, what makes this design special, why I like it so much, and how you can get one. So we've been working on this design for well over a year. It's been a long process, making small incremental changes and testing one small change at a time. So it was a long process. And my goal from the very beginning was not just to make another wing, but to make the very best wing on the market today. And for me personally, you know, obviously what makes the best wing is a personal choice. Not everybody's gonna agree on this, but for me personally, I think this is the best wing design that you can buy today. Uh, it has great features, great balance, a compact wingspan, stiff canopy that has a nice solid profile, works well underpowered, works well overpowered, and has really nice neutral handling. So it's a great overall wing for most people. We've tested it from beginners to expert riders. So I want to say a big thank you to all my wing foil friends here on Oahu for helping us test the wings and get everything figured out and uh, got a lot of really good feedback. Uh, a lot of it actually made it into the final uh, production versions of our wings. Uh, for example, we added a Y handle for Derek Kamasaki. He requested that, a removable Y handle. And uh, you can see the, the wings have uh, these oval shaped windows and it makes it really nice and easy to see through. It allows you to have a nice field of view without having to move the wing. You can kind of see what's going on downwind of you. It also makes the wing look a little bit like an alien and that's kind of where that name came from. So the, the wing, uh, the windows were first, uh, just a good shape for the windows. And then uh, I realized it looks kind of like an alien. So I thought that would be a good name for it. And I want to say a special thank you to my friends on the North Shore for helping me test the wings and letting me use this killer place um, to kind of host a little wing test. The wind that day was kind of up and down light in the morning and then kind of up and down during the day. So it was kind of a great day to test all the different wing sizes. We tested, uh, well, everything except for the three meter. So we were able to test the seven meter, which you see here, all the way down to four meter. And one of the nice things about the alien wing is that it's really versatile. It handles well overpowered and underpowered. And even the seven meter wingspan is still really um, easy to handle. It's not super wide like some wings that are that size. Uh, we're trying to keep the wingspan as narrow as possible, really tight. And um, compared to other wings, you'll notice that the bladder is a little bit uh, thicker, more rigid, but also uh, a narrow wingspan. So ours is, this is our five meter compared to a 4.5 in another brand. And most most wings would be like that where the wingspan is quite a bit narrower on the alien wing for um, even though it's a bigger size and uh, somehow the the tension that we have in the canopy kind of keeps the wing tips pulled in and everything uh, really compact and powerful feeling without being uh, bulky you know so it's a nice combination of uh, power without having too much surface area I guess Okay, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about what's included, what you get with the package. And one thing we spent a lot of time on was the bag. Actually, people have been asking me if they can buy the bag separately, but it's not available at this time. But it has a really nice mesh insert. So the way I like to fold it up is uh, fold it in half, then roll it up uh, with the window flat. It's okay to um, put folds into the window, but this is an easy way to roll it up, fold it in thirds, and then just put it in the mesh bag. If it's not completely dry, it'll, it won't get moldy in there, so you can leave it like that overnight if you have to. But once it's completely dry, you just put it in the backpack and it has an attachment for the pump, makes it real easy to carry. The wing has a lot of lofty power, so on light wind days, um, you can still do jumps and have a lot of control from all that lift that the wing creates. It comes with a leash, a wrist leash, and a that has a swivel. So that's included. You also get a repair kit that has patches for the wing and the bladder. There's two attachment points for harness lines, and we also have two attach 
endpoints on the front of the production wings that allow you to use a removable Y handle that's going to be available soon. Uh, we went with the smaller diameter handles. They're very rigid but uh, fairly narrow diameter so easy to grab. It has just a single valve and then two tubes that connects to the center strut can be closed off with uh, cinchers but um, it's easy to deflate and it also keeps the strut bladder kind of in place by attaching to the base of the strut. Here's a comparison between the 4 meter and the 6 meter um, bladder. It has quite a, a thick front end, very rigid, especially in the center. This is the second color in the video. You see all the solid blue color, but we also have a tri-color option available. So um, those are the two colors available, the blue and then the tri-color. This is what they look like. Okay, so I'm going to try to wrap it up. I could keep going forever. And uh, so much good footage that even after I end this video, you can keep watching. If you want more information, I'm going to keep talking and we're going to play some really cool footage of wing foiling and I keep, talk some more about the design. But if you're ready to buy, just go to blueplanetsurf.com. We'll put the link down below. If you're in New Zealand or Australia, uh, you, we have a distributor there. So order that from Dan and you'll save on shipping and customs. Anywhere else in the world, you can either get it from our website or we're also looking for dealers and distributors. So if you're interested in being a dealer, let us know. All right, thank you so much for watching this video about our new alien wings. I'm stoked to finally get them to market. I'm sure that if you get to try one, you're gonna agree that it's a great wing and you're gonna want it in lots of different sizes. So thanks for sticking around. I'll see you on the water. Aloha. Okay, so that was the official intro video for the alien wing. For those of you that want more information and want to keep watching, I'm going to play some more cool footage that I got um, from, you know, all the different sessions, uh, some fun stuff. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about the design and uh, what we found works, what didn't work so well, and, uh, you know, whatever else I can think of. And then once I run out of things to say, I'll just play some music. So, um... One of the things uh, we went with was a single valve with two tubes. Um, you can, you know, click the tubes shut, uh, which is good. It's, it kind of increases the performance actually to have them locked off. But I find that with the two tubes, it's easy to deflate the center bladder. You don't need a second valve. Um, and uh, so it's just a little bit more convenient than having two valves. And, uh, and it also kind of holds the strut bladder in place well because it's at the base of the strut bladder so it can't shift around and that's been a problem with some other uh, wings. So another thing that we spent a lot of time on was the panel layout. So the wings have um, these horizontal panels and uh, you know basically this where the stitching is is the most rigid and then also the way the fabric is orientated is important to so it keeps its shape well and doesn't get stretched out and so on so uh, i found that it makes a big difference actually just to have the panels uh, laid out differently uh, made a big difference in how the wing handled so that was really interesting uh, we also added some neoprene padding underneath the front handle that's something um, some of the testers requested and then like i said uh, Derek hamasaki likes to have a y handle and we made sure that the handles are really well balanced. So you can actually, uh, just now Kurt was holding it with the one hand, the center handle, you can actually fly with just one hand uh, if you're holding it in the center. So the wings have really nice handling. I also made another video just about the seven meter wing and testing it and testing the harness line attachment points and so on. So um, that's another good one to watch uh, if you haven't seen it. So check that one out. Um, I'll put the link up above. Just click on the little eye icon to see the other video. So I'm going to try to go over all the questions you might have. But of course, if you have any other questions that aren't answered, just uh, put a comment down below here in this YouTube video and I will reply. I'll promise I'll reply to all good questions. So um, feel free to ask. I'm stoked that 
I'm able to bring these wings out and super excited. So uh, like love to get feedback too. So anyone uh, using the wings, love to hear from everybody. So as mentioned, if you are in New Zealand or Australia, get the wing from our New Zealand distributor, Dan, or you can visit the PPC store in Auckland. If you're on Oahu, come by our Haleiwa location or our town location on Kona Street, and we'll give you a special in-store price. Our website price includes international shipping, and if you buy multiple wings, we'll give you an even better deal. And if you're a dealer and are interested in carrying our wings, please contact us. The links are down below. So something else to mention is that the design of the wing, the kind of the compact shape and the stiff profile uh, make it really easy to pump up on foil. So because you can bring the wing pretty low to the water, uh, it's really uh, easy to kind of pump it and get it going uh, even when you're using a smaller size. But then also a bigger size will let you kind of fly through the really light wind conditions, uh, keep going in, in the really lighter wind and uh, helps with getting going as well. So we found that the weight of the rider that it really matters a lot. Like if you're a bigger, a heavier person, then it's nice to have a little bit bigger wing, a bit more power uh, versus uh, a lighter sh or shorter person. Uh, a lot of times can get going with a smaller wing and uh, get going. And then once you're up on the foil, it's nice to have an, a smaller wing and just easier handling the smaller the wing is. Uh, but in this case, even the bigger sizes like the seven meter uh, still has pretty nice neutral handling it doesn't feel like a monster uh, it's and this one is the six meter uh, it's really well behaved and neutral like on the wave it just kind of floats nicely and and also for transitions it just uh, handles predictably and uh, like even though it's a six meter it's uh, really easy to transition and uh, just has a nice predictable handling and then a really um, nice profile that has nice acceleration. Um, so yeah, overall, I think the design came out really well. Stoked about it and uh, hope lots of people get to use these wings around the world. I'm hoping to see lots of pictures and video of people using them all over. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm just gonna keep playing some more of our cool B-roll footage with some music in the background. So keep watching. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up as always. And thanks to all the viewers that keep coming back and watching everything. So I know sometimes I just keep going and going, but um, those of you who are still listening and watching are the hardcore wing foilers. And that's really um, I'm, who I'm trying to reach, right? So you're the ones that are gonna be using these wings. So thanks everyone for watching and uh, and also this is still keeping the stoke level high and uh just keep keep it up and have everyone have a great 2022 please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the blue planet surf youtube channel i'll see you on the water aloha I love how Derek always shoots people down when they fall. But um, I thought I was all done with voiceovers, but then I got a few more good pointers from Dan, our New Zealand distributor, who made some recommendations on what else I should talk about. So, and when one thing is for the valve fitting, uh, basically you don't need any adapters to, to use the valve. Um, it's just a standard uh, attachment that basically that most pumps have in the front uh, without any adapter on it basically it's like an adapter uh, piece with the two knobs on the side uh, you just have to make sure when you put it on to push it all the way in evenly and make sure both sides lock into those little uh, knobs that stick out and then uh, you want to make sure it's tight but you don't have to have it super tight it actually seals pretty well even if it's uh, not super tight tightly screwed uh, but uh, it's just something uh, to make sure that it's tight enough so it's not leaking air but you don't need to um, super over tighten it either uh, the other thing is the handle design 
So um, the wings have three long handles and uh, we started off, you know, with using smaller handles and um, also having the handles a little bit looser. So we ended up making the handles pretty tight so there's not a big gap between the strut and the handle so that if you, for example, if you get backwinded or you're pumping the wing, there's not a lot of back and forth movement in the handle. That's something I didn't like about handles that were too loose. Um, they didn't allow, or they weren't tight enough to, um, for that kind of thing. So also we made the handles really long. <clears throat> So that allows you to kind of luff the wing or, or hold it more forward to depower it if you're overpowered or you can hold it further back if you want more power, slide your backhand back if you want more lift during a jump, for example. Also, having a really long handle in the back helps with maneuvers like uh, duck jibes. Uh, it allows you to grab the, the wing way in the back and kind of spin the wing around really well. So that's something I really uh, liked is the long handles. It's a little bit more like a windsurfing boom. And then we also spent a lot of time really balancing the handles well, the front handle, so um, the wing is nice and neutral when it's uh, luffing. So the, the position of the front handle is pretty important. <clears throat> and then the center handles on the wings is balanced exactly so that you can hold the wing with one hand. And Dan was also pointing out, like if, for example, if you have to go back in, if the wind dies and you have to go back in, you can actually hold the wing up with one hand just on that center handle and, and it, it'll kind of float you back. So, um, and then uh, of course, then also the attachment points where the harness lines have to be balanced well. So that was why it's important uh, for those handles to be positioned exactly right. The handles also have less sideways twist because they're pretty tight. So um, by making them tight, it doesn't allow them to twist as much. So you have more wrist control of the wing, like basically um, just holding the wing with one hand, um, you can kind of control it with, with your wrist because the handles themselves are very rigid, stiff, uh, and, uh, and they're fairly tight. So then that gives you nice control. Another thing is like after a maneuver, for example, if you're tacking, you can just grab the, the handles wherever. You don't really have to look where you're grabbing just because um, you know the, they're so long that you'll um, just grab it somewhere along the way and uh, you don't have to worry about grabbing it in exactly the right place. So those are some things about the handles. Another thing um, about the design of the bladders and this, um, the leading edge bladder uh, and of course the compact wing, wing shape is that um, one thing like when you're getting started uh, pumping, first of all you can bring the wing lower because of the narrower wingspan, but another advantage is that rigid frame um, doesn't tend to get caught under your board. Sometimes the thinner tips on some wings tend to kind of bend and then as soon as they touch the water they kind of pull under your nose of your board and you kind of get stuck. So as you're taking off that's kind of the worst thing that can happen is that your the wing tip kind of gets stuck under your board. So with our wing design it's much less likely to happen just because the um, first of all the the width is, is narrower so it's not as close to the water in the first place but then second of all if it if you do touch the water with the wingtip it doesn't get caught on the water it just kind of bounces off and and it's pretty rigid so it doesn't bend and go under it's easy to recover from uh, touching the water with the wingtip so yeah those are just a couple more um, things to point out about the design and so on I hope uh, I hope that's it. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below. And I leave you with that. Uh, keep enjoying the video and the music. Aloha.
Oh, oh.